Hi, I'm Ed. I work in the business department at Otis, and I'm the geeky techie guy here to show you how to use your stereo Bluetooth with your phone so that you can hear Otis. I will tell you the advantages and disadvantages of using a stereo Bluetooth. And finally, I'll show you how to maximize your MP3 player so you can use it with Otis to hear what you've been missing. Okay, well this is why you would use a Bluetooth uh, for your Otis. One is that you've got two billion songs on your on your phone and you listen to all your music on your phone. You take your phone everywhere with you. You get nervous when you're away from your phone. You sleep with your phone. You talk to your friends on your phone. You just always have your phone with you. Um, that's the kind of person that want to use a Bluetooth instead of an MP3 player. With a little stereo Bluetooth like this Jabra, you can take your phone and put it in your backpack deep down inside so if you fall or or uh, you, you don't drop your phone. Some people are fumbling with their phone trying to pause it or trying to uh, fast forward their music or something. You can bury your phone deep in your backpack in your fanny pack or you know, just someplace safe on your hip and use your mp3 player to play your music to start it to stop it uh, pause fast forward you can answer your phone with it and you can adjust the volume with it all with this little uh, remote little bluetooth stereo bluetooth so you mount this on your helmet or you put it on your headband there's a chain lanyard that goes with it for runners um, so you have this handy your phone's buried away so you don't you don't ruin your nice expensive phone first thing you do once you've got your Bluetooth, is this phone has three uh, Android phones have three volume controls. The first volume control is the main volume control. So if you just go and you turn your keypad on, and on here it's up here, and just your ringer volume all the way up. That's the very first volume control. Make sure that's all the way up. The next volume control is a little bit tougher. It's your in-call volume control, and you don't know when you're going to get a phone call. So what I do is I dial the phone, and while it's dialing, you can turn your phone up, and that's, uh, that's ringer volume, doesn't do you much good. You have to call, I'm sorry. And then you turn your in-call volume all the way up. Okay, we'll end that phone call so Grandma doesn't get mad at us. We'll go back, and the last volume control is your player volume, your media volume. And you do that while you're playing something. You turn your, your player on. This is Ray Charles. And you turn Ray up all the way. So those are our three volumes on our phone. Okay, we'll pause Ray here. Second, uh, then you have control here. So there's a volume. The fourth volume is on the stereo Bluetooth. No matter which stereo Bluetooth you're using. If you're using the, the Nokia or the Jabra, they both have volume control. You turn that volume up and down as you're using it. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to link your systems here. To turn your uh, Bluetooth on, you hold it down for four seconds, according to the rule book or the instruction manual. And if you can see that job or light down there when it flashes red like that, that means it's on. And periodically you'll see that blue flashing light. Okay, so that's how you turn it on. To turn it off, you do the same thing. Hold it down for four seconds. You see the red light flash. And there you go, so it's off. Okay. So we're going to turn it on and pair it. When you want to pair it, you hold it down until the red light flashes and continue to hold it down until you see a alternating red, blue, red, blue. Okay, so we're going to do that. Um, the very first thing we're going to do, I guess, let's, let's get the phone ready for it. And on an Android phone, you go to your uh, menu and you go to settings, which are alphabetical order, settings. You do wireless controls, you do Bluetooth, you turn your Bluetooth on, and then you go to Bluetooth settings, and you scan for device. Okay, so while it's scanning for device, we're going to hold down this until it flashes red and blue, and then we're going to hold it a little bit longer, red, blue, red, blue. Okay, see so that red, blue flashing? And it's going to scan for that, and uh, it's not scanning, so let's scan one more time. And generally within a few seconds, it'll pop up. There it is. So, we're going to want to pair with that device. 
Okay, so now it's telling us, where is it? Up here, it's connected to the phone and media audio. So we can start playing on our uh, stereo Bluetooth. So the next thing we're going to do is go home. And you guys are probably tired of listening to Ray Charles. So let's skip Ray and go to whatever's next. Elvis Presley. And you can hear Elvis is playing through the speakers now. And I just change the volume if I want to talk to somebody. I can turn Elvis down. I can turn Elvis up. When Elvis is as loud as it goes, you get a little signal beep beep that tells you that your volume's all the way up. I can pause Elvis. I can play Elvis. Okay? If I get a phone call, I just touch that. And it'll pause Elvis. We have our conversation. Touch it again. Hang up. You can start right back where you left off. You can uh, fast forward here. Let's pick another song. We get U2 from Joshua Tree. And that's all from stereo Bluetooth. So my phone can go up to 30 feet away. Actually, I think it's 100 feet, 30 meters away. And you can still pick up the signal. So that's how you pair your stereo Bluetooth. This is how you answer the phone with your stereo Bluetooth. While you're listening to music, you'll hear a kind of a paging sound, a beep beep. And it'll let you know that you have a phone call coming. You just reach your finger back behind your helmet. And you can answer it like that. And now you're talking. There's a little microphone on your stereo Bluetooth. It picks up your voice. You hear it through the speakers. You carry on your conversation. When you're done, you hang up. And you're back to your music again. It starts right back where you uh, left off. If you uh, see your phone is not connected to that, you can take your phone up to 30 meters away, 100 feet, and still hear. And so that's the uh, beauty of the stereo Bluetooth. This is packed away, someplace safe and sound, and you're controlling air all your you know, your volume, song choices from your stereo Bluetooth. So why would you not want a stereo Bluetooth? You don't want a stereo Bluetooth if you're not very tech oriented. Sometimes it's a hassle. It'll pair. Sometimes it's fidgety when you're pairing. It takes you five or ten minutes to get it paired up. If you're techie, you don't mind. You know, you kind of know what you're looking, knowing what to do. Don't worry about it. But if you're techie, stay something simple. Just get a little MP3 player. Play your music right directly wired to your... Uh, your speakers and forget the Bluetooth. You know, you got to charge it, you got to keep it charged. Um, it's heavy to carry a phone around. A phone weighs a pound. If you're an ounce counter and you try to keep your bike, you pay thousands of dollars to keep your bike light and you're carrying around a pound phone, you know, you don't want to, that's, that, you know, that's counterproductive. Um, sometimes you get into uh, dead ends where you can't use the internet, you know, like Pandora. You still have music on your phone, but you can't listen to uh, Pandora. Um, other reasons why you wouldn't want it, it costs money. Bluetooth is, uh, this one's $40. And, uh, you know, you can use your regular old MP3 player. Everybody should have one of those around. You can use the MP3 player you have to play your music. Let me show you what I like about these MP3 players, especially this little Sansa. Um, this versus a touchscreen. Now the nice thing about the Sansa is that you can feel, you know what you're doing. You fast forward, fast back, play pause, and um, this is a menu. You never use that. But then volume controls over here, on and off buttons over here. So while you're writing, you just reach behind your head, touch up high, turn it to pause. That's pretty much all you do in the volume control. So one song's a little louder, you turn it down. Next song's a little too, too louder just for the the ride you're doing. If somebody's talking to you quite a bit, you can turn the volume down or you can even pause it so you can carry on a conversation. Uh, with the Sansa, let me show you a little trick how to optimize your your volume control here. If you go to menu and you go down to settings and you hit settings, the, one of the settings is equalizer. You hit the equalizer and you have a lot of choices. Classical, jazz, rock, pop, normal. If you come down to custom and you click on custom, there's a set of equalizers. And if you raise them up, when you select them, you can uh, lower or raise that uh, channel. And then you just pick each channel. 
in the custom setting, if you raise all those channels up, it increases your power or your sound. So you can get uh, your Otis even a little bit louder. And we, we find that if we increase them all the way or one click from all the way, then uh, you're set to go and then you can control the volume from here. It makes it uh, just a little bit nicer.